Welcome back to another video. Today's video will be about diamond bobcats or grinding for them. I've got two so far. I'll have, I think I'll have this before the diamond bobcat with a recurve hunt. But I figured I'd make the guide along with this video. I haven't been around to make much videos lately, but we're up here at the top of this map top left I have a tent right there you want to set your time for at least 430 if not 5 is a decent time if you don't have night vision and since you can see super well even you can see it right now it's 440 in game and you can see really well and I did just change the time we'll have to see if there's any bobcats even getting to their zones yet but usually this is one of my favorite lakes and this is the lake that I'll usually start my grind at but like usual right after you set the time it takes them a bit especially with how slow they travel but it's my favorite spot these are all bobcat zones all the way around the lake they'll even drink right here and they even drink up at this lake nothing drinks at this little pond that I know of but they do drink up there. I don't have any zones because every time I run up there, it's just covered in trees, so it's hard to spot them. But I'll start at this lake, shoot those, and then right after that, I'll go down to this lake, run down there. I've only had females here, so it might be a spot like this where it's only females. But I do know I have had males up at this lake, so I'll run up to that lake, shoot those shoot those if there is actually males there then I'll run down to this lake one of my favorite lakes have a tent right up here and bobcats all around this then where I found today's bobcat was right here and they drink all the way around this as you can see if this outpost wasn't right here I would have been able to get the zones for right here as well but they drink all the way around that. That tent you don't need. I just set it up there to make trying to get that diamond easier. And then down here, also great spot. And I don't know why it's not showing up, but there's usually a zone on this end too. And you can see Bobcat right there. Their drink time is 4 to 7.30. So plenty of daylight. Then my favorite spot of all time, definitely down here. They drink all the way around this lake. And this is where I got my blue diamond bobcat. And I think it was actually drinking down along this, but I've shot so many level eights at this lake. There's just so many bobcats down there. And another great spot is this coast right here, just full of bobcats during their drink time. So usually go over that again. This lake, this lake. And this one right here, I'll usually save this lake for last because it's so big. And then go down to this one, shoot those. And right here, I'll go down to this spot. And usually you can actually hit all the spots within wandering time without resetting besides maybe this lake. But those are the only ones I bother to hunt for bobcats. You could hunt this one that has bobcats right there and this lake but I don't bother with those and of course I just bring along some tripods you don't need tripods with them usually because there's usually only one or two in each zone sometimes there's zones with four males but you can use tripods and just run around setting up tripods whenever you see a bobcat and take him out I just use the M1 you can use the 243 but I just use the M1 to down them faster, unless it's a diamond or a rare. And yeah, these things are taking forever to get to their zone. So we'll just fast travel down this one real quick. These usually are quicker to get to their zone. And there's some bobcats. I think that is a, just a brown. The brown can look really dark sometimes from far away. You can see these guys traveling to their zones. 
And I think we're just going to take those out with M1. Oh, and there's a level 8. We'll just pop that with the M1. Hopefully we got that level 7 as well. Looks like we got both of them. And I think we can only shoot one more without doing a zone. Those look fairly close together. But I just use the M1 because it's just way more powerful than the 243. And unless it's a diamond, the trophy rating really doesn't matter. And we actually have that level 6 sitting right there. So if we can find a spot to place this real quick so we don't delete a zone, we will shoot that guy as well wherever he went. Alright, there he is. Take him out. Shot far back, both the M1, it'll still, still bring him down pretty quick. And that's basically all I do to grind the Bobcats, kill all the males, and if you just want any rare, like a female rare, you can shoot the females too. And there's that one. We actually got, no, we barely missed the liver. And the other one should be right there. Here, another bobcat. So we'll have to shoot that one on the next run. And these ones have respawned. This one is the level 8, 39 kilograms, a decent sized one. And another tan. But that's my how to grind bobcat guide. But now into the recurve hunt. I spotted this guy a few days ago. It took forever to relocate him. Couldn't find his drink or rest zones. And finally found him. He's a level 9 legendary 25 to 28 estimate brown bobcat I've been calling in for the past probably 10-15 minutes it takes so long for them to come in alright our bobcat is finally almost within well it's been in within shooting range for quite a while but I just had no shot because he was following the brush line now we'll go for that as long as he stops moving, that will be an easy shot. Just wait for him to stop, hopefully. You got a level 7 really close to us. Of course, this bobcat took the longest time to come in. There we go. He took the longest time to come in, but he won't let us have a shot. I was actually moving a lot, but definitely got a vital. You can see that blood right there. But they do run quite a ways with a vital shot with the 350 grain arrows. But he should be going down any second now. There we go. And he's dead. Might as well take out that level 7. Just for respawns. And go pick up this level 6, I think it was. I shot the recurve while he took forever to come in. I don't know how long it's been. It took so long. I spotted him on this side of the lake. I had my tent over there trying to find his zone. Yeah, it was just level 6. I had my tent over there trying to find his zone. I first spotted him up here and been hunting him for... Several days trying to f figure out where he was at. And I even ran down this so many times looking for him. But could never find him for some reason. His tracks just would not show up. They're so hard to find when the tracks are bugged and you don't get the particle to show up. Just get the glowing tracks. So I've been chasing him so long. Found all these zones while looking for one of his zones. Check this lake up here. This one. And a bunch of rest zones trying to find him. Finally found him, and that actually looks really cool. You can see that broad head sticking out. Oh, 
Oh, the arrow just despawned. Okay, then. But we'll pick him up. He's a brown fur type. And right at the very top of that estimate, 28 exactly. Brown bobcat with the recurve. Mount that guy. Could put him in a multi mount with our coyote that we got the recurve. Yeah. Took way too long to find this guy. Alright, here we are in our lodge, our main lodge. And our bobcat and coyote are right here. You can actually swap them around. I think, let's see, yeah, like that. And you can finally do that now. This platform has always been kind of my least favorite platform because it's facing that direction, but now you can swap them back and forth, which is really cool. But there's our Diamond 28 scoring a Bobcat Brownford type, which is probably my favorite besides the rares and blue. And got it with the recurve, and I also took out our Diamond Coyote. We got the recurve and put it in there with it. See, that looks really cool and just in this part of the lodge I used to have the geese multi-mount right here grumpy geese and I think this just looks a lot better and we can go through these poses but I think I like that one that I had it in the best Let's see if we can that one's not bad either might honestly keep it like that really like that that's really cool. But that's it for today's video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.